there welcome to my channel my name is Mfon and today we are going to continue from where we stopped last week like I said I respected your time so I want it to be short that's why I, I made it 5-5 five, five. so today I don't know if I should start from 6 but to some people this might be the first time of them watching this video so I'll start with you know number one this video is 10 values in total I did the first five in the first video so I'm gonna do the second half which is five in the part two moral values are the building blocks of a kid's personality it shapes their thoughts belief and attitude in a way that they develop into a morally strong individuals so number one consideration being thoughtful and kind to others will always be a value to teach your child showing consideration to people is showing empathy showing compassion you know cooperating with people and not taking what doesn't belong to you when you are thoughtful and kind you are more aware of other people's feelings and can better be of a help to them so show consideration show empathy be ready to compromise or operate with people and try not to take what doesn't belong to yours because you know that's very common with kids you know taking what doesn't belong to them and even adults do it which i feel that they were not taught moral values because when you take something that doesn't belong to you you hurt the other person so teach consideration number two happiness everyone ultimately wants happiness teach your child to be happy and their happiness should not be dependent on something for example oh if i have this i'm gonna be happy no teach them to be happy for what they have you know children can perceive when something is wrong so as a parent try to remain positive despite the challenges that arise in your life you know life is challenging for example storms you know can pass and bring a tree on top of your roof if something is challenging communicate the trial with your child and that you are trying to stay cheerful despite what has happened when you focus on the positive you are helping your child and also that child will learn to see the good in everything including people number three courage Courage refers to the willingness to do complex tasks in difficult situations. When I signed my daughter up in ballet, she was not, you know, confident and she was scared. But I know as a mom that making a child perform in front of people builds self-confidence. So I talked to her and I enrolled her. So teaching your kids to face their fears help them conquer hard things with courage. Teach your children to stand up for themselves. Teach them to speak up if they are not comfortable or if, you know, something is bothering them. This will help them to ask questions when they are confused in school, as well as gain confidence and self-esteem. For example, I remember my daughter telling me she did not understand a particular mathematics and I was like, did you, did you ask the teacher? So the teacher kept walking and you just kept quiet. So I encouraged her to ask questions where she doesn't understand. So that the teacher will not assume that she understands and you know at the end of the day she might not do good in that subject number four justice you know there's no way in the world that people like mistreatment so justice gives courage to a child to stand against unfair and unjust behaviors and approaches teaching justice will help them see the right and wrong in the world as well as help them fix the mistakes they will make in future so teaching them to do the right thing and to stand up for what is right helps them develop ethical and strong self image also as a parent be fair for example set the same light out time for everybody without discrimination for example mr a is older so he can sleep late no set the same time out for everybody Number five, acceptance. This is the capacity to accept the difference of perspective with another person. Teach your kids to appreciate and accept other people's opinion and views about life. You know, it widens the child's perspective and helps see situations differently. Try to educate them to accept other people's view 
and arriving at the best solution through discussion. Sometimes kids don't know how to argue and you know come out with the best solution because another person has a different opinion. So as a parent, you can teach them to accept people's opinion without creating enemy with them because they don't agree to what they believe or agree with their own views and opinion about life. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. This channel is about healthy parenting, raising healthy, happy, self-dependent, and you know, cheerful children in the future. Parenting with the future in mind is about helping parents to raise healthy and happy kids. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. We have more than 10 values that we can inculcate in our kids. So I have shared 10 with you. I will be more than glad for you to share more than that or you know to add it in the comments below so as to help other people. I appreciate you watching. Remember to click on the bell icon to notify you when I upload a new video. Once again, watch the part one of this video so that you can get the full 10, you know, values that you must teach your kids. And also, if you have an 8 to 10 year old child, watch this other video so that, you know, it will help you to know what you can teach an 8 to 10 year old child. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you next time.